Let's have a look at uh, track work on Tuesday morning. No money, no talk is the horse on the outside, uh, working up with a stable mate. And uh, no money, no talk goes over the straight course this weekend. He's going for the hat trick. He's won two out of six on the straight 1100 metre course at Ipoh. Azahar will be the rider. He's got early speed, this horse. He's drawn barrier two. He's drawn perhaps on the wrong side of the track, but he can utilise that early speed to be prominent. And no money, no talk has got a chance in the opening race here on Sunday. Now this is the stable mate of No Money No Talk and this is Delta Wing who also runs on the straight course and also is going for the hat trick, has picked up a couple of class fives in impressive fashion recently, Delta Winger, he'll be carrying 52 and a half kilograms, he steps up to class four, he's had a couple of tries on the straight course before without uh, success, uh, Martin Weppner retains the ride, that's Delta Wing working on the sand here on Tuesday. Let's go back to that winning performance of No Money, No Talk now. And uh, this was last month, and a No Money, No Talk led all the way over 1,000 metres. This was back on the 23rd of February. Windmillion is in hot pursuit. Triple Wonder Best is down the outside, and they were followed by Diamond in the Rough. But No Money, No Talk is going great guns within the last 200 metres. Triple Wonder Best and Windmillion will fight it out for the minor prize. And No Money, No Talk makes it back to back and eased up by Shankar. No Money, No Talk won clearly. Second is Windmillion. Third, Triple Wonder Best. Contented was doing its best work late from Mogan's Pet, and then came Thunder. Now this is the nine-year-old Space Invader being put through his paces on the sand and a Space Invader racing well at the moment. He may prefer a slightly longer trip. He's back to the 1600 there on Sunday, coming off a last start second over 1800 metres. Usually is saved for the one sprint Space Invader. Jay Shankar will take the ride. He's ridden the horse in six of his eight career wins. Space Invader, horse number 93. Now let's have a look at the last start performance of a Space Invader. This is back a month ago, over 1,800 metres. He found the line well. He ran second to Love Me on this occasion, Space Invader. And he goes around in race number six on Sunday. me down the outside, goes up to head them off for Zero One, it dashed away from I Wish, Fiery Gambade and then came Banchuri and also Space Invader, but Rai Zero One aboard Love Me is starting to forge away close to home and it's Love Me Love Me wins comfortably Space Invader second, I Wish is third and fourth Banchuri then Fiery Gambade, then followed in by Mr Magic Now this is uh, Mr. Magic striding out on the sand there on uh, Tuesday. Uh, Mr. Magic, he'll carry the minimum weight in the sailing and cruising handicap, which is race eight, it's over the mile. And uh, Mr. Magic hasn't won since July of last year, but he's got a good record over the EPO 1600, five starts for one win and three placings. And he normally likes to settle on the speed. And that is Mr. Magic doing uh, his routine there on Tuesday. Now let's have a look at Rush. That's the horse on the outside, working away from stablemate there, Lady Killer. And Rush, which will be ridden uh, on Saturday by Kayuan. Of course, returned to winning form at Ipo over 1,400 metres two starts ago before he went missing in action at Penang last start. That race was uh, over the 1,200. He's won three races at 1,200 metres, so he goes well over the distance, Rush, and he'll be one of the major players in the River Cruising Stakes which is race 10 on Sunday. Let's have a look at that winning performance of Rush. And on this occasion, he defeated Beautiful Choice. This is going back to the 16th of February. And to take note in the purple jacket, Blue Tosca, he'll head the weights in a race number 10 on Sunday. He ran third in this same race to, uh, to Rush. 
Shredder passage between runners also. They're across the track and Blue Tosca reaches the leader. Beautiful Choice tries to get a split between it and Rush. And now Beautiful Choice has burst to the leader. Rush is after it. It's Beautiful Choice and Rush together. Beautiful Choice being gathered in by Rush. Beautiful Choice fought back. This is a close go. Could go either way. Beautiful Choice or Rush. Close up is Blue Tosca with... Number 75, and this is Martel, who has been racing in good form at the moment. Has the hoof on the till from the KP Hoyada, coming off two recent seconds. And has been placed twice from three starts over the track and distance, and also has won three races over 1,400. He goes around in the Turtle Watching Handicap, which is race number 12 on Sunday for the Class 4 Gallopers. That is Martel. Now, this is uh, Rocket Express working up there with uh, Flash Gordon. Uh, Rocket Express is on the inside there of uh, Flash Gordon. And uh, Rocket Express is going okay at the moment. Uh, returned to a bit of form last start. And uh, he had every chance in Penang. He ran third over 1,200 metres on that occasion. Steps up to the 1,400, where he's won twice over the Epo 1,400 metres before. So he's working his way back to some better form rocket express number eight zero working inside of stable mate flash gordon there on tuesday morning now this is luck dragon working up on the inside of stable mate that's sun supreme on the outside but luck dragon did work strongly there on tuesday martin wepner will take the right aboard this horse first up since november of last year has had the 13 race starts for one win and five placings. His only victory came at uh, in August 2012 in a race at Penang. It has been placed twice at the track and distance from three tries. That is Luck Dragon who goes around in race number 14 on Sunday. Now this is uh, Zhen Shen who was a last start winner working up alongside of Wang Chai. Uh, Zan Shen is back on the inside, uh, working with the stable mate, and uh, Zan Shen, still a three-year-old, has had the four race starts for one win, and its uh, last winning performance was back on the 16th of February, when it scored in a three-year-old maiden over 1,400 metres. Trialed well prior to that performance, and he looks a lightweight chance in the Clave Exploration Handicap, which is in race number 14. Zan Shen is a horse which has only had the four race starts to date, but this, this is his last start win. Zan Shen, as we go back to the uh, 16th of February, and he won this race over 1,400 metres. From the KP Hoi Yard, this is Zan Shen. Four off the leader. Magical 10, the Wonder Gun downer. Zan Shen, a racy on down the outsider. Quanton Hill needs a bit of racing room at the moment. It's now Quanton Hill after a racy on Zan Shen. And they've got to Magical 10, which is fighting back. On the outside, Zan Shen goes up to Magical 10, takes the leader. Zan Shen might get there narrowly. I think it did. It's Zan Shen in a photo over Magical 10 and a racy on. Quanton Hill was back. The three-year-old Galloper Triple Wonder Best has had a very consistent season of racing and has had a, beery, a busy period of racing. Is on the seven-day backup on Sunday. That's it in the orange jacket going around three wide, about to stake its claim. Triple Wonder Best with D'Souza aboard goes around in race 14 on Sunday. On the outside, Contented and Triple Wonder Best are about to join in. Legal Lord save for the last runner. Star Quality's got a kick, though. It's come back at uh, Contented and also Triple Wonder Best. Three across the line. Contented reaches the lead from Star Quality. Triple Wonder Best might get up over the top. It will. Triple Wonder Best has got up to win. Second is Star Quality. Contented close up. Then Good Recommend. Followed by Uncle Glory. Legal. 